chain reaction reacting because other people are reacting panicking because other people are panicking following the masses because you heard something you haven't trust and verified you are just reacting based on the news feed on instagram the scrolling facebook messages instagram messages did you see this you take that message and you get that message times 10 from 10 other people 20 other people and before you know it you're spiraling out of control with your thoughts going all crazy like 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 i really mean like your insanity you got to question it sometimes which is precisely why i've started exercising my mindset around if someone's sending me a DM, if I choose to read that message, it's only because I care about you or we have a really good relationship. And I, I don't want you to take this to heart and do what I say. I'm not even trying to tell you what to do. This is how I manage my anxiety, my stress, and keep my mind fresh and honestly it's toxicity if i'm reacting to every news broadcast do you know how many things go wrong in a day if I, I live in las vegas if i was to sit with my iphone that i'm recording on right now and i point this and stick it to the strip i could literally make a case and a story out of nothing i mean there's genuinely stories out here you see some crazy gnarly stuff but i could cause a lot of panic by saying did you see this oh by the way did you see this happen that's part of life and part of life is also managing your choices of what you eat what you take in what you what you know what your eyes see what you hear what you process it's no secret that we are living at a time where anxiety mental health all these questions around identity you know i believe this is still june this is men's mental health awareness month is anyone even talking about us fellas is anyone talking about men suffering i i don't hear it i do hear other agendas being pushed and i'm not trying to take sides or be sexist here but i do hear a lot of other agendas being pushed and so what i have done is for my own sanity and peace of mind and it's working is that I have completely shut out the news and I've said this before in my earlier video fairly recent that the news will find you if it's meant to find you and I think I even saw a, a quote from Jim Carrey I think it was Jim Carrey and I could be wrong Keanu Reeves something along the lines that it's amazing how peaceful life is when you don't watch the news or news doesn't happen to you how normal everything is and if i was to control just my environment i have a 1100 square feet condo upstairs downstairs and i love it I've, I've moved here two years ago this is my third year going into my third year it's so peaceful versus california also cheaper and I did a video about no state taxes. You combine all those factors, I think I have done decent. And just, and, and I'm saying that, you may be thinking I'm bragging. No, there's a reason why I'm saying that. When you confine yourself, confine may not even be the right word. But when you limit yourself in terms of you cut off news, media, or at least you keep it to a minimum, you start to what, what happens is you're more present within your body your mind body spirit which is a martial arts philosophy as well and meditation but also you are really present with your circumstances with your situation with your life you start to express and also practice gratitude is because you don't have any other external sources that you're giving your power and mind to that's extracting from you if you know what i mean if that's that's the best way i can describe it is that you are protecting your inner peace there we go those are the words it's funny how these things flow when you're really coming from the soul you know 
I'm a lot happier. I have a lot less anxiety. I'm walking more. And speaking of walking, this channel is all about movement, fluidity, grace, movement, more movement, flexibility, stretching. I do more of these things because I'm more present in my body. And, I, and your body is a vehicle. In order to accomplish things, you got to treat your body like it's a vehicle. Vehicle, however you say it. You get the point. But it's going to take you to some amazing places because, because the body is capable of a lot. But you know what more? What's more? What's more capable? Sorry, folks. I'm really passionate. You know what's more capable is this. The mind. That is more capable than anything else because that determines how you move your body. What you do to enable your body. A lot of times... We could be stuck on our couches forever and we'll probably never get off just scrolling through the TV. And then when you, you sometimes double dip and you double dip by scrolling on TV and your phone, phone, TV, TV, phone. You ever find yourself stuck like that? It's a cycle, never ending cycle. And I can't preach this enough is by the time you do all this, hours have flown by, your blood is not circulating. Your anxiety keeps creeping up, even though you don't think you have anxiety, but it's creeping up. And I've lived through this and I fight it every day and I catch it now. And this is why I'm sharing this with you. Do not get caught up sitting on the couch because most of America, this is what we do. And then you combine that with a bad diet, junk food, easy access food, convenience stores, convenience store foods, DoorDash. It starts adding up because if you do it one day, you're going to do that the second day and the third day and the fourth day. So how do you break the habit? I would observe my daily habits. I would I would start making a note of how you are messaging people. How What are your outreaches looking like? Are you adding value to people's lives? You know, I'm in a, I'm in a place now where in my life as a Gen X where I see a lot of, not a lot, but I'm beginning to see uh, some people in my extended circle passing away or about to pass away and when i get the news i don't respond hey did you know so and so died i don't respond hey did you did you hear did you hear, did you heard did you hear she he passed or he has i don't respond it's not that i'm being mean cruel heartless is i know that if i respond to this right now it's a reaction i haven't thought about it I really take the time to process each and every individual when someone shares their information. And it's okay to not respond right off the bat. And it's okay even if you don't respond. Because I realize that people mourn and process things differently. You don't owe a reaction to anybody. You don't have to give answers to anybody. Let them text you. Of course, I'm not saying be rude. Get back to who you need to get back to, but prioritize those people, who they are, the must-haves and the must-nots. It's probably a good time to clean out people that you don't need in your life, to re-examine your circle, to re-examine the kind of messages you're getting. Are they building you up? Are you building you down? Are they dragging from you or are you pulling, putting you back up? Are they pulling from you? Are they exhausting you? Are they exhausting you? So consider some of these things and take it for what it's worth and really think about it. I know my life changed tremendously. I know what's going on in the news. I'm aware of the wars. I'm aware of the politics. I'm aware of the drafts. I'm aware of everything without watching the news. Go figure. The biggest broadcasters, I'll leave you with this, is not the news, it's not CNN, it's not Fox, it's not ABC, it's not all these channels. It's the people. The news will get to you. I'm just trying to save you the time and the stress and how to deal with anxiety better and how you process things. On to the next one. Mumbai out.